My name is Brad. I am 41 years old and I live in Ohio with my wife and my two daughters. Currently I work at a fire department in the Fire Prevention Bureau doing fire inspections, public education, and fire investigations. I've been living with desmoid tumors for the past 12 to 15 years. We don't know how long it went undiagnosed. So in 2008, we had the routine fire department physical. The radiologist noticed a spot on the chest x-ray and had further testing done. And from there, noticed a couple other spots in the abdominal area. After we had the physical completed with the radiologist, still want follow-up testing every six months on the spot in the abdominal area. And a year into that is when we noticed that spot growing twice its size. After it grew in size, they biopsied it, and that biopsy, because it was bigger, they were able to diagnose it as a desmoid tumor. And I met with my oncologist. It was clearly explained of how rare this tumor was, how there wasn't a lot of research on it, and the knowledge base wasn't as comfortable as something would be with other cancers that the oncologist has dealt with. The approach with the desmoid tumor was we went along with the least invasive treatments. Then we progressed to a chemotherapy. During that treatment, the tumor kept growing. And at that rate was when my wife and I sat down and we talked and we wanted to look for a second opinion. And I chose an oncologist that was within eight hours. Looking back from my first diagnosis of a desmoid tumor, I wish I would have sought out more to know if there was other resources, other avenues, people to talk to. Because when you are rare, as they said, a rare disease, you don't realize that rare doesn't mean that there isn't anybody around. If I hadn't have went and found the right place, the correct physician, the correct oncologist. I don't know where I'd be today. And ask questions, question everything. The current status of my desmoid tumor is the one we focus on has not grown in four to five years. We are doing a every six month CAT scan and every three month visit for lab work and just general checkup. Overall, the past four years have been like you've got to the top of the mountain and you know that everything's looking way better than it did 10 years ago. If you fight for yourself and stay positive, you're gonna be there for your family and watch graduations, grandkids, whatever it might be that you can enjoy out of life. No amount of money can do that. 